What's up, YouTube? Wendy Taiwan here on the SJ Vids 408. Um, sorry about the beginning. I was just seeing how to turn it on since um, it's a new camera my sister's letting me borrow. This is my Herpy Annoyance deck. Um, it's not meant to offend anyone, but yeah. It is very annoying. Um, you see how it is once I get to it. It's a Harpy Synchro. Colossal Fighter. Junk Warrior. Gaia Knight. And my other Junk Warrior. Sorry. X Saber Aurebellum. Now the Harpies. I have two Harpy Lady ones. It gives out a lot. It gives a lot of power to um, other Wing Beasts on the field. I think, yeah, no, wind monsters, I'm sorry, sorry, two harpy lady twos, and two harpy lady threes, harpy lady sisters, just for a quick beat stick, some, at points, harpy's pet baby dragon is really good at times, uh, you could get it to like 3400, so it's pretty crazy, and harpy's brother, those are the main harpies of the deck, other monsters to help out my sinkholes if the harpies fail. Um, Slate Warrior. Pretty good card. It's also Wind. Frequency Magician. Gale. Um, it's a tuner. Sorry if you can't see that. Um, three stars, which is pretty cool because I need a lot of it. And um, it also is a Wing Beast, so it's going to really help me. If if I could boost it up then and its effect activates, it's gonna be like really good. Haven't tested it out yet though. Breaker, the magical warrior. It just helps add the annoyance. Once you see the traps, you'll know what I mean. Speed warrior. Now this is an iffy card. I might replace it. If anyone has a good idea of a wing beast to replace with this, please tell me. Goblin attack first. It's a good card overall. Penguin Soldier to help out get out Junk Warrior and has a pretty decent effect. Two Junk Synchrons. Tower Part, really good since all my singles are Warriors. Juice Fighter and um, Hopeomer. Sorry, I'm Hopeomer or something like that. Five stars. What's really good about this deck is, I mean, what's really good about this card is, it's 2,000 attack, kind of low for a 5-star, but if it gets sent to the graveyard by battle, your opponent has to keep on discarding cards from his hand, so it adds annoyance. And, um, it's randomly, I believe, if not, then, yeah. If they have a good hand, it still helps. Gravekeeper Servant, again, adds the annoyance. Two elegant egotist for a swarm and easy single. Two harpies hunting gun for a good boost and to destroy the background. Heavy storm rare staple. Fighting spirit just in case my harpies aren't enough like attack. Giant trinade to get out a trap card I might show you later. And card destruction in case you have a really bad hand. Lightning vortex and book of moon. Not for trade. Magic Cylinder Ultra. Um, it could protect you at times. So, yeah. Icarus Attack. Helps a lot. Call the Haunted. Um, if you just start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and you go to tourneys, Call the Haunted is now limited instead of Monster Reborn. Monster Reborn is now banned. But most of you should know that. Saku Armor. Torrential. Divine Wrath Super. Hysteric Party. If I giant tunade this, then I could just use it again, and yeah. Bottomless Trap Hole. Um, non gold. Pretty simple. Please tell me what you think of this deck, and if you're wondering what sleeves are, they are. They're the Power Tool Dragon Sleeves. I know they're kind of sucky, but I like them, you know. They they feel cool. And yeah, please tell me what you think on this deck, feedback and stuff, so comment, rate, subscribe.